hello <laughs> and welcome to our custard apple uh, segment and today is September the, uh, the 4th and we're right at the end of our custard apple um, season and so the fruiting is very sparing um, today I think I'm gonna try and prune it now I have no set method I just ask the tree permission before I prune and um, before I cut the fruit of course um, and so I'm gonna start and I'll let you come in and see the fruits that we have but as you can see around over that side there are still some fruit left um, some up high in the tree but like I said, it's at the very end of the custard apple season. And um, this morning, I've started, I'll just put these away before I hurt myself. Um, so this morning, I made a few trimming. I'll show you in the bag how many I've got. So probably around about 10 in there, I think. Looks like 10. And that's how custard apple. Can you see it clearly? Yep. Um, so these are going to be offered to the spirit and the Buddha. Um, we do offering, because we like to offer, it's, a, it's just a sign of generosity. It's not actually the Buddha or the spirit world actually eating it. So it's just the gesture and intent that we count. Anywho, so you see that the trees, they grow and they have a lot of branches. Um, so before it goes into summer, we like to prune it and give it, so sort of like tidy it up a little bit and let the new shoot grows out. Um, I think it's advisable that you do prune your tree every year. I think most gardener would know that they should prune it. Um, I think you can go on YouTube and search for people pruning their tree and they'll show you a particular method. But for me, let me repeat, I stick with no method I just do it as I go along and if I see there's too many branches I'll just trim it off but not viciously and one of the most important thing to do and um, if you're a gardener and you're a spiritual person is to ask permission inwardly um, ask permission before you do something like that because tree they are life force they have life energy and they do have a spirit like Pocahontas say <laughs> So, um, yeah, you need to ask permission and before you do that, then you go and you, I would say, harass them with your scissors and start trimming. Okay, I'm going to do that now. So this is the fun part of growing custard apple trees, um, is actually cutting the fruit. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this fruit right here. Um, usually for aesthetic um, looks, if you do an offering. See, I like to have leaves on it but this one is not a good um, example but um, yeah you leave some leaves on it and look really nice but today I'm just gonna cut the fruit yeah um, and the reason why I cut the whole branch is because it's not needed and I'm due to do some pruning in a few a uh, week's time when we completely clear all the fruit from the tree and so this, whoop, this section here they're pretty much these are not going to grow any bigger um, but today I'm not going to you know I'm not going to cut it I'm just going to cut the big ones well relatively big ones and Maybe this one here. Oh no, I'll leave that one. They're very pretty. Uh, and along the way, I'll do some trimming. Just to clear it up a little bit. Um, so we are one of those uh, disorganized gardeners. We don't have set rules and we don't stick to a particular way of gardening. So now I will show you the soil. Um, if you look down below, up, 
So this is just uh, oak and hay that we put in, I don't know, whenever we feel like it, um, whenever I feel like they need some. And if I uncover the soil, I want to show it to you so you can see the reason why we're planting our ginseng down here. So it's very soft and it's very moist. Um, and down below, just this rich earth with worm. <laughs> right? So I'm not going to kill the worm. So as you can see, this top soil is like very rich and it's very moist. And that's what we want in our garden. Um, so that is, this is where the ginseng is going to grow. Um, and as you can see, if you look around the tree, it's really sort of like run down, you know, at the end of each fruiting season. Um, the tree is very um, drained, so we need to revitalize her and um, we need to sort of cut her, give her a haircut, <laughs> give her a trim, give her some food, revitalize her. Um, so I'll just show you an example with custard apple. If you don't trim them, they, they tend to grow downwards and sag to the ground. So every year I would trim this, um, the whole base of the tree. I would trim it really neatly and by the time the leaves start to come out and they start to fruit, it will be like hanging like a weeping willow, just downwards like so. Um, I'll show you what I'll do over here. So I've just noticed that there's one fruit here that's relatively big and I can harvest it. I'm just going to cut it. There we go. Quite ripen. Uh, very nice fruit. Pop that in the bag. And what I would do with this branch is I will cut right here. This stuff who is a herbalist, in between the two of us, she's a herbalist and I'm the hermit. Um, she wants to graft this branch. So I'll show you with the smaller branches. See all these weeping ones? You mm -hmm. won't need them. So I'll just cut it close to the edge and you know, leave it aside. It's like giving the tree a haircut. And in this way, um, she'll regrow much better this year as well. So that's what you have to do. Now, today I'm not actually pruning the tree. I'm just, you know, showing you the end of the custard apple season. And um, I might show you a video of uh, how we prune the custard apple tree next time. But um, truly today we're just showing you where we're planting the ginseng and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll see you next time um, on our other videos. Take care.